welcome to my video review of my Cub Cadet XT1 tr garden tractor. I bought this tractor this summer uh, upon getting this house. Uh, all I had before was a little push mower. This is my first riding lawnmower. As you can see, I've modified it slightly to fit my needs a little bit better. When I was in the market for a tractor, I looked at a few things. I looked at the Tractor Supplies, Husky brand, uh, John Deere's at Home Depot. And I have a fairly small yard that I mow, and I also have a piece of property up in uh, New Hampshire that I mow, that I own. Uh, I didn't need any sort of zero turn or commercial duty mower, but I did need something to haul firewood around the house, uh, plow some snow, uh, to augment my snow blower when we have some light snow around here or the thick heavy eastern Massachusetts uh, slush that clogs snow blowers. Figured I'd try the snow bleed. Starting here at the front of the tractor. You'll notice I have a snow plow slash dozer blade attached. This is the Cub Cadet slash MTD brand 46 inch snow blade that uh, they sell for $2.99. It took me about a uh, half hour of assembly to put it together. The only thing you have to modify in your tractor is attaching two brackets up front. Uh, just for the video I attach it, I normally don't mow and plow with it. Unless I'm doing some light uh, dirt push work. Starting on this side, you'll notice some World War II nose art in honor of my wife who uh, gave me the go-ahead to buy this tractor. One thing I've noticed about this Cub Cadet is you can see the fuel level from the uh, outside without having to pick up the seat, which is huge. Opening up the hood, you have your fuel tank, your cooler, 18 horse carriage engine, Air filter, oil filter, and drain hose on one side. It's pretty convenient. After the five hour break in period, I changed this oil filter. It just it came with the kit, so I figured I might as well change it. It was a bear to get off. I ended up having to puncture the old filter, stick a piece of uh, bar through there, and twist it off. I mean, it was put on to never come off. So. When you first get one of these tractors, if you decide to buy one, just be cognizant of that. Coming up to the cab area, you have a nice little steering wheel and bin there to store some cotter pins for your trailers. You have your throttle choke, your hour meter, your parking brake set, your ignition with the mow and reverse feature that you uh, have to turn it to the yellow area, push a button to acknowledge that you want to mow in reverse. On this side here we have a nice cup holder and a perfect size little bin for your iPhone. The deck is a 42 inch deck with the anti-scalping wheels and the wash jet system, which you can tell I haven't used. On the back here, you'll notice something that doesn't come from the factory. Uh, that little piece of property I mow in New Hampshire and also around here uh, needs some weed whacking when I get to the back. So rather than walk back and forth to the shed every time or back to the truck, I went to Tractor Supply and bought this Coleman ATV gun mount. Uh, 
bolted it into the back of the tractor. And uh, it holds the weed whacker and an extension cord for the electric leaf blower. Uh, that way you don't have to walk back to your truck every time to get something. It's already with you so you can jump off, do a quick trim of the tree, and you're on your way. Uh, this seat is extremely comfortable. I really enjoy it. Uh, the high back makes for a lot more pleasant experience when you're mowing. Uh, the only thing this bungee cord does is uh, keep the seat down. When you put this on the trailer and haul it down the highway, uh, that seat likes to bounce around and that uh, just keeps it down. Come over to this side, we have your PTO engagement lever here and we have your deck height. One thing I've noticed about the deck height on this is it is not 100% accurate on the depth. I would add, actually subtract about a half inch from what it says. Um, I like to mow my lawn at two and a half inches and it was short, a lot shorter than my old mower. So just keep that in mind. I have no complaints about the mower itself. It's done a great job and kept up with everything I've asked it to do. Coming down on the side here, I installed a mulching kit on this mower, uh, mainly because I just don't like to shoot rocks out the side. Uh, there's something to me about being so close to houses and cars that people that shooting projectiles out the side isn't, uh, isn't an ideal situation. So that's the uh, general overview of the mower. For the price I paid, which was $1,350 from Tractor Supply, I've been satisfied with it. It's done everything I've asked it to do, and more. I think if uh, you're in the market for a decent mower, you should definitely consider this one. While we're here, I just want to do a quick review on the Cub Cadet slash MTD 46 inch plow blade kit. Like I said earlier, here in Eastern Massachusetts, we get some very heavy wet snow that clogs snow blowers and also we get storms that are an inch or two that really doesn't make sense to take out the snow blower but you don't want it to freeze over so I looked at buying this plow to supplement my snow blower I went to Turf Depot which is a local Cub Cadet dealer bought it I'm not sure that they're hundred percent familiar with these new Cub Cadets because the guy said before you can install the plow you have to take off the deck and I said okay no problem I get home open up the instruction box and this plow only attaches in the front I don't know if maybe the older models you had to take off the deck and uh, before you could do both but uh, that's one thing I uh, noticed wasn't 100% uh, accurate when I, when I looked at buying this. Uh, and the reason I'm making this video is there is literally nothing on the internet so far that talks about this plow on the new lawnmower. So you get a look at the front of the blade here. It's got the spring tension and all up top. The handle to raise and lower the blade here. It's a uh, cam action. So you lift it up, drops the blade down, pull back, lifts the blade up. A pretty simple operation. And then right here, you have the lever that you would pull out and flip the blade to either direction or keep it straight. Right up here you have the locking pins. So basically you 
with the blade assembly onto these bolts right here, which are called shoulder bolts, and that little cutout sits on them. And speaking of one thing while we're in here, I don't know if you can see it, but that rusty bolt, um, this kit is supposed to come with four bolts to mount your uh, brackets for the plow to your tractor frame. Uh, the brackets stay on, you don't have to take them off every time. I said this is just a, a pin based system, you just put on the shoulder bolt, pop the pin into it. I was really disappointed. I opened up a kit that I paid $299 for and there was no uh, extra bolts to secure the back of the brackets. I mean, luckily I have stuff around the house. It wasn't a showstopper, but you know, the fact of the matter is, I mean, you're spending 300 bucks and they can't give you two 3 8 bolts. I don't know if it was a mistake. I don't know if it was uh, whatever, but you know, at the end of the day, I had to come up with two bolts that I wasn't expecting and delayed the assembly. And like I said, just small things. Uh, also, over here on the handle, where this pin goes through to attach these two pieces, I don't know if they tried to beef it up inside, but I couldn't get the pin through. One side was completely welded over. So I had to get out a drill and drill through a fair amount of welding to actually make this hole complete to insert this pin. Um, again, for 300 bucks, I'm a little disappointed. I mean, that's something that really shouldn't be an issue, but again, I guess it's all fit and finish. Um, the other thing too is when you buy this blade at the store, not that labels mean anything, I understand Cub Cadet is made by MTD, but there's a little bit of confusion because the blade says MTD and you think you're buying the Cub Cadet accessory because all the other accessories say Cub Cadet. So there's a little bit of a delay when we were looking up the part numbers just to verify. So just keep that in mind. Um, there's going to be a review later on how the blade actually handles the snow uh, when we get it here in uh, eastern Massachusetts. Right now it's uh, Halloween and 50 degrees, but that doesn't mean much around here. Tomorrow it could be 10 below and snowing. So stay tuned and I'll have a more detailed review when the uh, winter actually gets here and I take off the deck and stop plowing with this.